playground sets. We all had our favorite, and mine happened to be this number 9 fire engine that was at my elementary school playground. And I'm certainly not alone on this one. You see, this was no ordinary piece of playground equipment. This number 9 fire engine was Beyblade Central, baby. That's right, every day there would be a Beyblade tournament in the back of this fire truck. It was basically a hierarchy where the best Beyblade competitor would basically rule over the fire truck and the entire playground and the entire school. They would overthrow the principal of the school. Maybe. Well, recently my elementary school got rid of like 80% of their classic playground equipment and replaced it with modern stuff, which I was actually kind of annoyed with until I tried the new stuff and I was totally sold. Some of that equipment has the potential to be really dangerous and should not be used by 8 to 11 year olds, but hey, no danger, no fun. Now, luckily the school did not get rid of the fire truck, but if they did, I was fully prepared to organize a protest. And I'm not joking about that, I was going to get a group of alumni together to protest the school getting rid of the fire truck. I don't think I would have expected it to actually do anything, but it would have been pretty funny either way. But if they still refuse to not get rid of the fire truck, then my plan B was to offer to buy it from them, I guess. And if they still refuse that, then I go to the internet to try to buy it. So seeing as they didn't get rid of the fire truck, all this planning has kind of gone to waste. But I still wanted to see if it was actually possible to buy this old piece of playground equipment off the internet. And I knew this wasn't going to be an easy item to find, so I called in the military. <laughs> I spoke with airman Christopher Kent. I mean, Christopher Henning. To see if I could gain access to his CIA level of security clearance. I then found out that he doesn't have CIA level security clearance, so uh... Yeah, we just put our heads together and googled it. Can't be like Fisher Price, can it? Because, like, everything was Fisher Price. I don't know. I doubt it's Fisher Price. I don't know about the equipment. One remarkable detail, remarkable, one notable detail about it is that the, the tannish plastic pieces had, um, like a recycle logo on them. Hmm. And I thought that was strange, like, for being how old that thing is, it's weird that it had recyclable parts on it. Yeah. Because, like, I don't think that was very much of a concern at the time. Maybe that's why they bought it, because it was cheap. I almost feel like it being recyclable would be more expensive, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, come on, Marcus, think. You graduated high school, <laughs> you can think of how to spell recycle. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell recycle. Recy Never mind, I do. Wait. Recy yeah. Recyclable. There's a Y in it. Yeah, recyclable. <laughs> fire. Recyclable. Truck. Play equipment. All this is just trying to get me to buy something. As is capitalism. I mean, if I find the right one, maybe I'll buy it if someone's selling it for cheap. <laughs> I don't care what my parents say, I want the fire truck. It's like $50,000. <laughs> Damn it, so be it. <laughs> After tens of Google searches, half a dozen online commercial play equipment catalogs, and maybe two eBay searches, we really found nothing. <laughs> okay, we found like two pictures of the same fire, number nine fire truck at different playgrounds, but the links attached to those images just led to online review sites for public parks. We found nothing close to a sales site or an online catalog that contained this particular playground equipment, so I knew what I had to do. I had to go to the fire truck. I thought I'd remembered seeing a manufacturer's plate on the fire truck when I was younger, so I figured that'd be my best bet. Luckily, it was Thanksgiving Day, so school was not in session. Game game. I feel really awkward because there's kids here. 
You're standing on that bench there? The fire truck is right there. But, um, yeah, I feel kind of awkward with there being kids here. no manufacturer plate on that fire truck at all but the uh the tire did say that it have a brand on it i don't know if that was just the tire though it could have been i don't know i hope it's the brand of the whole truck though otherwise i'm at a complete loss and i might have to turn to reddit to figure out what this is hey look i showered how's that for continuity So yeah, googling the words I found in the tires literally gave me nothing. I was at quite a loss here because there was no other markings on that fire truck to indicate who sold or manufactured it. Like, how do you make a product and not put your brand name on it? If you're not gonna plaster your brand name into the brains of hundreds of impressionable children, then I don't know what you're doing with your company. And here's where my stupid shows. Out of all the search terms I used, I never thought to search for engine number nine. You'd, you'd think that would've been obvious. Hmm. Well, it turns out that's exactly what I needed to find this thing. It led me straight to an auction site where someone was selling the same exact number 9 engine. Five months ago. Yeah, the auction was closed, but I honestly wasn't planning on spending $555 for this thing anyway. I actually wasn't planning on buying it at all, I just wanted to see if I could. But hey, the bid on this thing started at $5. That's pretty good. There was actually a 10 day bidding war on this piece of playground equipment which I kind of found surprising to be honest, but honestly the real surprise was finding this thing at all. This auction site was the only place I found this fire truck being sold. I think it's safe to assume that no one is selling this fire truck new, so if by any chance someone did want to buy it, they'd either have to know a guy or get really lucky to find one online. But yeah, that was it. If you made it to the end, thank you. A uh, special shout out to CJ, he's the guy I was talking to earlier in the video top-notch dude check out my other stuff if you care to otherwise see ya yeah i'm eating these strips like every other day but there's something kind of whack that i can't get out the way when i'm feeling hella lonely my mind in this way and it's all because i tore tea strips in my face <laughs>We all had our favorites, and mine happened to be this number nine fire engine at my <clears throat> fire ring ring. And mine happened to be this number nine fire engine at my elementary school playground. After tens of Google searches, half a dozen online online commercial play equipment catalogs, online commercial playground catalogs, shit. half a dozen online commercial play equipment catalogs online commercial play equipment catalogs. After tens of Google searches, half a dozen online commercial play equipment catalogs, and maybe like two EB... E <laughs> a dozen online commercial play equipment catalogs, and maybe like two A... <laughs> I thought I had remem... I thought I... I thought I had remembered seeing like a manufacturer plate on the fire truck when I was younger, so I figured that'd be about on the fire truck um, when I was younger, so I figured that would be that'd be my oh my god, what the f 